welcome back to our channel today we left work a little bit early it is just about four o'clock we are headed to AC Moore I'm sure this is probably the last place Chris wants to go <laughs> but because he loves me right <laughs> he is gonna go with me and it will be one less thing that we have to do on the weekend. So we're gonna go to AC Moore and see if they have any Christmas stuff out and see what we can find. We're back from AC Moore and they had some really great Christmas stuff. So let me show you what we got. When we walked into the store, they had these artificial wreaths, wreaths, is that how you say it? Um, these were regularly $9.99. They were on sale for $3.99, which is a really good deal. They seem like you could really fluff them out pretty good. I got two just in case. I didn't know if maybe I could put them together and it would just look fuller. But I think one, once you fluff it out, is going to look all right. And they also had smaller ones if you are looking for a smaller wreath. I got some holiday sprinkles. Every year we get the brothers together with all their kids and they'll come over and we'll bake cookies. Last year I was the only grown up with the kids making cookies. My kitchen was a mess, but how fun are those? I cannot wait to make Christmas cookies. That is probably one of my favorite things in the world to do for Christmas. Next is this little metal sign. You can hang it on the wall or you can hang it by the string. I'll probably just prop it up. It has the deer and the trees. I like the script of the writing. I like the rustic look. So that's going to look really cute. Next I got these little snowmen which looks like they got a little banged up in transport from the store to my house. She is missing. She has two little bells. One goes here, the other goes here. They weren't on very well at the store. Almost 90% of them were missing the bells. So I'm just gonna take some super glue probably and glab them on there. But I love their little scarves and their little noses. They're actually pretty heavy. This one is kind of top heavy, so I'm going to have to watch where I put him. Aren't they just like the cutest little snowman couple ever? They will look cute wherever I decide to put them. And the next thing is this tree. So our AC Moore had a whole wall of decorative trees. They had trees like this. They had bottle bra. Sure. Just walk in front of me, it's fine. They had bottle brush trees. I don't know if you can see, this one's pretty glittery, but I just like that it's kind of not perfect. I like the effect of the snow and the glitter just kind of fancies it up a little bit. I'm not very girly, but I do love me some glitter. Next, I got two sets of I don't even know what you would call these. Berries, I guess. One gold and then the other, this like metallic red. And last year, <laughs> she's the queen of the house. That's Dove. So last year, what we did with these is we took a one by four and we cut them into, I think maybe 18 inches and then we glue them together and we put a board across so they would stay together. And then we made a little Rudolph. I had like a red ornament for a nose, but I got these. I figured these 
I can make. They should look good as a, a red nose. And then we did these as like the antlers. So I got a brown one because, you know, antlers are gold. Um, and I actually sold them for about 20 bucks online. So I might try to make some more of those this year. Plus they were super cute when I do a haul of all of my Christmas and winter decor when I bring it upstairs. I will make sure to show you those and the snowman that we made last year. Next is this little snowman. This is Santa Claus. <laughs> How cute is he? He is a very like old fashioned. He has this stylish little ribbon. I don't know if I'll keep this or not, but we shall see. Next, Chris actually spotted these. He was picking out things left and right. I was totally looking over them and he kept picking things out and I was like, oh, that's super cute. I love it. He found these like rustic, distressed looking signs. They're just like block signs. And they just have the distressed tin. Anyone that has cats knows they are needy. She's lucky she's cute. She's sitting right here. But how cute are those? Then there is this have yourself a merry little Christmas. These trees are tin and it has the plaid design all the way around it. It's just like a block. You can't hang it. It just sits there. Super cute. Next are these little tags. And I love how like vintage a lot of things were at AC Moore. Like look at this Santa. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. So there's Santa, he has his joy. And then the little pups in the back of the truck. You could probably just set them up if you wanted to, but I will probably hang them. Then I just got a couple different sized plaid bows. And this I thought was really cool. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, what is this? Merry Christmas. Cute, right? So you can kind of like zigzag it a little bit. I will probably put this on my hutch. And it just folds right up. And Chris liked this a lot. Over the river and through the woods. Has these little bottle brush trees on it. The little truck, joy banner. It's actually pretty heavy, so I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it'll have any problems sitting upright by itself. Next is this little countdown to Christmas. We have one that I think I got at Dollar General probably, oh geez, when I first met Chris. So probably, probably six years ago and we just use it and we hang it up. It's nothing special. Half the time we forget to change it, but this one's so cute. I'm definitely gonna put him out and make sure that we use him because this is super easy to do. But how cute is he? And he has a little metal hanger up here so you can hang him. These aren't Christmas decor, but they are super soft boot socks. Like when I say super soft, I mean super soft. And then the last thing I got is this little door. It says joy to the world. It has the twine on the back you could hang it from. This was, I think, the most expensive thing I got. I think this door was 15 bucks. Everything else, I wanna say, was under $10. Everything was 50% off. So this door, I think, originally was 35 or $40, but Chris and I both really liked it, so we got it. I probably didn't need all of that Christmas stuff, but I just really could not, I could not help myself. And then they also gave me their Black Friday coupons, which they seem pretty good. So they have 60% off any one regular item, and then a 40% off your total regular price purchase. 
Um, and then, so each coupon is for different hours. So, and then on the back they have coupons as well. And then looks like one day only Saturday, a free stuffed bear with $40 purchase. Well, it's easy to spend $40. But I don't know if any of you guys go Black Friday shopping. It's not really my thing. It's too people -y out there. Uh, most of the time, the one time I did go out Black Friday shopping when Lila was probably one or two years old, it just was not a good time. People were just so rude. And we went to Target and it was so crowded. And the lines were like all the way to the back of the store. It was just not a good time. And I hate to say it, but I'd rather just order online or just wait until it goes on sale again because I just don't have the time or patience to deal with all of that. So let me know if you go Black Friday shopping, what your traditions are when it comes to Christmas shopping. Have you guys started yet? I have started just with the kids. Chris and I, I have no idea what to get him. It's kind of like if we want something, you know, me and him, we just buy it. So I don't think he has a clue what to get me. I don't know what to get him. He just had a birthday last week. My birthday is two weeks before Christmas. So it's just, it's just a little crazy if we were to just buy gifts for each other. But who knows? We'll see what we get, but I do love Christmas shopping for everyone. I'm definitely, definitely a giver. I don't care if anybody gets me anything. I just love picking out gifts, and I'm more of a buy a gift for a person. Not so much, here's a gift card. Go buy what you want, which is great. Like, grandparents can do that, you know, for the grandkids or whatnot, and that's what my kids have asked for. They're just like money or gift cards or whatever. I feel like it's more personal if you put some time and thought into the gift that you're getting, whoever you're getting the gift for. But I hope you guys liked everything. And like I said, AC Moore had so much cute stuff. I did want to buy a little bit more, but I, I held back a little bit. I still have to hit up the Dollar Tree and I have to bring up my bin of Christmas craft decor stuff that's in the basement and see what we got when I do you guys will be the first to know I will give you guys a rundown of all the decorations that we have inside and outside because last year we went a little crazy at the end of the year at Lowe's when everything was 75% off but our house is gonna look super awesome this year we live out in the middle of nowhere. Last year, a couple people said that our house was the best decorated house on the road. Our road is 12 miles long and there's probably maybe 25 houses on it <laughs> from our end to all the way at the other end, but whatever, I will take it. <laughs> we decorate for the cows across the street. Thanks for watching this haul. I hope you are inspired to go to AC Moore and get some things to decorate your house. We will see you guys on the next video.